body image. Body image issues can affect your intimate relationships, sometimes in ways you may not realize. Having body dysmorphia may feel like being stuck with a funhouse mirror. You look at yourself, but all you see are distorted versions of your body. The American Psychological Association defines body dysmorphia as an extreme dislike or hatred towards some aspects of your appearance. The dislike may not even be warranted. Imagine the struggle of seeking intimacy with your partner where shame, anxiety, and self-consciousness intertwine. The act of undressing before someone can become particularly daunting, especially for individuals grappling with body dysmorphia. While people's experience with body dysmorphia differs, one thing remains the same. It affects your sexual relationships. A 2019 study published in Psychiatry Research showed that those with BDD, due to body shame, shun intimate relationships and sexual acts. Researchers also noted higher incidences of compulsive sexual behavior. They believed that those who engaged in compulsive behaviors were doing so to compensate for feelings of inadequacy stemming from BDD. Depression. Depression can affect all stages of sexual functioning, though it most commonly affects desire and arousal. When someone is coping with depression, it's difficult for them to find pleasure in activities. An article published in the Journal of Clinical Psychology mentioned that sexual dysfunction is very common among those with depression, whether it's caused by the condition or by medication used in treatment. Anxiety. I'm sure you've heard the phrase, misery loves company. Well, in this case, depression loves anxiety. If you know that depression is not the one responsible for killing the mood, check in with depression's friend, anxiety. Anxiety mainly affects the arousal and desire stages. Anxiety in some individuals can cause distraction and may make the person unaware of sexual stimuli. It literally blindfolds you from engaging with your partner. Why does anxiety act like a blindfold? Well, ask your nervous system. We all have two types of autonomic nervous systems, the parasympathetic and the sympathetic. The parasympathetic nervous system is responsible for making you feel content, calm, and at ease. It allows you to get in the mood. However, for someone with anxiety, they're living in the sympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system kicks in when we are stressed, anxious, and feel like we're in danger. In this state, different hormones get released. For example, adrenaline. The body is too busy preparing itself to run away to enjoy the moment. The release of adrenaline constricts blood vessels, which in men can cause erectile dysfunction. Stress. Performance anxiety is a notorious mood killer. Just look at Adam from Sex Education. For those who have seen the show, mostly referencing the first season. He was definitely not feeling himself whenever he was with Amy. And there's nothing better at pulling you out of the moment than stress. Stress can sometimes come from your anxiety to do well while having sex. Relax. Most people don't get report cards after having sex, but the stress can also come from something else. Sometimes it's work, old conflicts, or just general random stress. The way stress interrupts sexy time is by distracting you. It keeps you from focusing on what is going on in front of you. Not only that, but your body is stuck in a parasympathetic system, an eternal loop of stress caused by stress that then makes you more stressed. Past trauma. PTSD can also hinder a sexual experience. Not just sexual health, but PTSD affects many aspects, such as personality and mood. It can also be a factor in conditions like substance abuse, suicidal ideation, and interpersonal difficulties. Its effects cast such a long shadow that when it comes to sexual functioning, PTSD may affect each stage of sexual functioning from desire to orgasm in more ways than we would think. A 2021 study conducted with war veterans cited, specifically PTSD re-experiencing symptoms, which include intrusive images, flashbacks, and associated emotional distress may occur during sexual activity. To the extent that sexual activities can be explicit reminders of trauma, even when traumatic experiences were non-sexual. This means that the correlation between PTSD and sexual dysfunction is more nuanced than we think. Unfortunately, more study is needed to explain how and in what way it specifically affects a person's sexual health. Unresolved issues in the relationship. Finally, unresolved issues in a relationship can affect what happens in bed. Nothing turns a person off like being legitimately upset with your partner. Even though you both resolve the issue, feelings of resentment or bitterness still linger. The relationship feels different. 
off. It feels like you both are barely tolerating each other. This disconnect between you and your partner can also affect your sex life. These unresolved grievances can make intimacy difficult. Why? Because sex is more than just physically getting together. There's an emotional aspect as well. When both parties are emotionally distant from each other, the physical aspect is uh, underwhelming. Therapist Christy Overstreet explains that when you get your emotional needs met and feel emotionally connected to your partner, that is, you have emotional intimacy, then you're often more able and willing to connect sexually. In other words, emotional intimacy often bolsters sexual intimacy. She's right. Sex is about feeling comfortable around the person you're with. So if you're experiencing some issues in the intimacy department and don't know the cause, use this list as a guide. Keep in mind that there may be other causes and factors that are causing sexual frustration. It's always best to reach out to a medical health professional for help. If you liked our video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe to our channel for more content. Are you looking for a cuddly companion that brings positivity and mental wellness to your daily life?